Hello everyone, so today I want to show you how to draw polygons dynamically. So what will be in this clip? We will see polygons code for primitive and entity. We will make the move using set interval function. We will try to use the immutable way for creation polygons, which means we will every time we'll create a new polygons and not store once some polygons and we will try to mutate his, their positions. And we will see what is asynchronous drawn in by the uh, polygon is flickering and in the end we will use request render mode okay so first this is the first polygon which is an entity and I copied his his code from this example the second polygon the little one is a primitive I create him and uh, in the later in the clip they will move also by the way, I have a question if you know why when I hover the box uh, on this polygon it cut him but on the entity uh, it doesn't do anything. Okay, uh, if you know please write it in the comments. Now, this is an angular project but ignore this, uh, focus on the relevant code. I declare primitive collection a polygon entity, okay, I set for the little uh, polygon these positions and for the larger polygon these positions. Okay, I create as a viewer, I tell him to show frame per second and create a primitive collection uh, which starts on the viewers and primitives. Okay, and then draw polygons. As I draw an entity polygon and a primitive polygon, so let's start from the entity because it, it, it's simpler. I store the, poly, the polygon on the entity's co collection of the viewer and uh, store the, the entity in my polygon entity, okay? And uh, some name, it's uh, not uh, relevant, the poly okay, here's a polygon, uh, what, what called polygon graphics, and uh, he have a hierarchy and here I bring him all his positions and uh, call him with the red color okay simple but the primitive one is much much more uh, harder okay here I create the primitive which have two things the geometry instances uh, it can also have an array of geometry instances but here only one polygon instance and and appearance so the geometry uh, it tells him how to draw it means what is a geometry? The geometry is a polygon. So first, I create the geometry instance. Give, get, tell him the geometry is a polygon geometry with uh, these positions. Vertex format, I'm not sure, but it uh, works. Attributes, I tell him, uh, draw it with a red uh, color and some ID. Okay, and uh, after this appearance, translucent, uh, sorry, this is not uh, relevant. <laughs> I, uh, okay, and that's all. And the result is uh, uh, this two. Uh, okay, and uh, now let's make it uh, dynamically. Okay, I, I give him a set interval, four times in a second. So how it looks like? Uh, okay, I will see. The, like you see, they start to move, and uh, the primitive is flickering. And because it's drawn asynchronous, the entity theoretically is also drawn asynchronous, but it's not flickering. I not, don't know why. Um, okay, let's stop him from uh, drawing asynchronous. Okay, it's in the primitive, you have an asynchronous property. Uh, when it falls, it means that it will draw on the main thread. But now uh, it's drawn perfectly. Let's. Uh, before I just need to reduce the git stash, uh, sorry, I first uh, show you the code. Now let's see the set interval. And the set interval uh, is a check if the primitive collection have primitives, and uh, uh, if it does, so this is a immutable uh, way remove everything and create new one um, okay here i create a new po polygon positions by um, upgrade the degree with uh, 0 0.1 and again draw the primitive uh, polygon the same thing i i uh, i do for the entity i remove all the entities and draw the entity again and uh, okay now 
ng-serve minus o ok, it will took a time so let's say while it compile I will explain the the differences so first I tell him request render mode is true ok, so I will tell him when to render so here it's very straightforward the, the set, of every time I have a set interval I want to request render ok and uh, oh, one second ok great now you see it uh, the set interval works only four times in a second so why to render 60 uh, frames per second when it's useless you need only four uh, you see it looks very uh, very good <laughs> no frame per seconds and uh, the same result okay and uh, if you have I have a clip about uh, request render mode and uh, okay that's all